Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at my video. cosplay based on the Image Comics character and the Amazon Prime TV show. I think this is like my first non-Spider-Man cosplay since like 2015, maybe? I'm not sure. I haven't really cosplayed another character besides Spider-Man in a long while, so when the Amazon Prime show came out, I just had to cosplay as Mark Grayson. Also something I wanted to do with this cosplay was, you know, figure out how to make a good quality costume while also not like spending over $250 like I did with my Spider-Man No Way Home suit. I wanted to kind of stay under the $120 kind of window that I gave myself. And that's exactly what I did. And you know, we have this cosplay. So let's break down my cosplay. So the base pattern for this cosplay was actually a The Amazing Spider-Man 2 pattern made by McLean Krieger. I kind of noticed uh, while just like trying to design how I do it in my head that the actual shape of the suit is not that far off from, you know, Spider-Man costumes. But I used that pattern since, you know, I had a nice way of you know, separating certain spots. <laughs> and I made my own pattern in Photoshop. I kept it fairly the same, just, you know, changing the chest and the arms, shoulders, and the back. So, you know, it can be in and not Spider-Man. I used four different fabrics for this cosplay. I used clear dot black spandex for certain insert pieces of the suit. And then for the main yellow and black pieces, I used Liverpool bullet spandex. And then for the blue pieces, I just used a nice metallic uh, foil turquoise spandex. And there is a reason why I chose these specific certain fabric looks to them. Not only do they look nice, textured, and cool, they also have a certain meaning. If you look closely on the Liverpool bullet spandex, it kind of looks like little eyes are kind of indented into the fabric. And then with the clear dot spandex, which is just, well, a bunch of clear dots, together they kind of form a little, uh, lowercase i, if you will. And then the shiny blue turquoise spandex is reminiscent of the title sequence where it's all blue, and then, you know, yellow text, and then blood, but I didn't have any blood on this suit. That I worked hard on this. I don't want to bloody it up. The entire suit was actually sewn together in like three, four days, but I probably could have done it in like two, honestly, but I just needed a lot of breaks because if you watch my last video on this cosplay, you know it gave me a lot of headaches. <laughs> and a cool feature about this suit and the pattern itself that I used is that it kind of acts like a shirt and pants. Unlike most, you know, spandex costumes where it either has a, a back zip going from the bottom of your back to the top of your neck or a U-shaped zipper, which I've talked about in another video. This specific pattern allows you to have a long separating invisible zipper around the belt. So if I want to put it on, I just put on the shirt and then put on the pants and then just zip around my waist and boom, it's on. It's honestly one of the coolest things I've ever done in cosplay to me and I want this kind of thing in more suits because it's cool seeing it act like the shirt and pants, like in the comics or shows. Now onto the part that gave me probably the most headaches, this mask. Now the mask is like 100% kind of my creation. Basically what I did was I made a pattern from scratch using my own head. And then what I did was I, using that pattern, I not only made the fabric of it using the yellow Liverpool spandex, but I also made a foam kind of face shell like thing so that it can hold a structure of a face and you know using a heat gun I was able to mold it to my nose and like head curvature and it works pretty well but the goggles these sons of bitches <laughs> I had the hardest time coming up with a way to do these goggles nicely and accurately and I failed so what I ended up doing was I used this old plastic um, Funko Pop case that I got back in Korea and I cut the lenses out using uh, a Dremel tool. Sorry, I'm kind of forget what I'm saying even though I have a script behind me. I decided I wanted to go in a more angular design aside from, you know, the 
egg-shaped uh, look that the comics and the television show has. I, did, I based this design off of S. Mavs on Instagram. He does great art and, you know, he's also working on a few Spider-Man things, which is awesome. And then after I cut the pieces of the lenses out, I used a heat gun to form them with a water bottle so it can get that nice kind of curvature to like kind of curve with my face. And then I used this computer screen mesh and painted it silver and then glued it on to get that sort of like silverish chrome feel. I don't know. I tried making them reflective mirror like, but it just, it just wasn't working. And obviously these lenses are not perfect. They have a lot of glue stains and they're just not placed correctly because of the way I was placing them. It's a whole thing and, you know, it's not perfect. I'm not claiming anything about this cosplay is perfect. But what I am saying is, is that it'll do for now. This cosplay is done, it's, got, it's done giving me headaches, it's good for what it is, and I'm personally happy with it. And before people start commenting or going my DMs about how I could have done or what you would do, uh, no. Just stop. I'm done with this cosplay. If you have an idea, you go do it. It's not gonna help me because I'm done. So just shut up. I've already got so many DMs and comments about how I should have or could have or would have done. So just please shut up. But yeah, guys, that is my invincible cosplay. Uh, this is my f like I said before, this is my first cosplay I've done that wasn't Spider-Man in a long while. And I'm so happy how it turned out. And I hope you guys like what I've done too. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've had two cosplay projects in the span of two months that I was able to do. And, you know, I'm happy to be on a little break from cosplay just for now so I can focus on other things like the movie I'm in. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.